India will be the land of a massive opportunity. It is not about one Gautam Adani. Our dream must be to produce hundreds of Gautam Adanis from this very land. And India's time has arrived. As I look back, I have no hesitation in saying that the tough early days I spent here with my parents shaped my early beliefs. I was just 16 years old when I chose to give up my education and move to Mumbai. In this context, a question I often get asked is why did I move to Mumbai and not work with my family? As many youngsters would agree, the optimism and desire for independence of a teenage boy are hard to contain. All I knew was that I wanted to do something different and do it on my own. 16 years of age, purchasing a train ticket at the Ahmedabad railway station and boarding the Gujarat Mail to Mumbai with nothing much in my pocket had me both excited and nervous. Once in Mumbai, my cousin enrolled me at a Mahindra Brothers where I started to learn the, to assort the diamonds. I quickly picked up the business and after working at Mahindra Brothers for about three years, I left to start my own brokerage in a diamond trading at a Javeri Bazaar. This was the start of my journey as an entrepreneur. My young friends, first generation entrepreneurs mostly start with a unique advantage. The advantage of having nothing to lose. This belief is their strength. In my own mind, this was liberating. I had no legacy to follow, but I had the opportunity to create a legacy. I had nothing to prove to anybody, but had an opportunity to prove to my own self that I could rise. I had nothing to risk by jumping into uncharted waters. I had no expectations to fulfill except those of my own. These beliefs become a part of me. I believe I am what I am because I never over-evaluate or overthink the choices in front of me. I personally find this aspect the most liberating and this liberation is what makes me an entrepreneur. To acquire wisdom, one must experience, but to acquire knowledge, one must study. These are two complementary. Just as I was turning 19 and settling down in Mumbai, my life took another interesting turn. I was called back by my elder brother to help him run a small-scale PVC film factory. In those days, it was a tough business. Crisis and opportunities often go hand in hand. I would tell others that trying to run a small-scale business that was handicapped by our regulations was like rowing a boat on sand. But it is only those that row on sand that are best prepared to reach the vast oceans. In 1991, India was going through its worst foreign exchange reserve crisis. We were, as a nation, down to less than 10 days of a foreign exchange reserves. It was the Prime Minister and his Finance Minister announced a series of bold decisions, including a dramatic depreciation of the rupee to boost the exports. I made an immediate decision and moved swiftly to establish a full-fledged global trading house dealing in polymers, metals, textiles, and agro products. I had turned 29. We became the largest global trading house in the country within just two years. And it was in 1994, we decided that it was the time to launch our IPO and hence Adani Exports, which is now called Adani Enterprise, went public. The IPO was a great hit. It came in a strongly at a 14 times premium over the face value. Over the years, I have realized you may not always be able to time things right, but your tenacity can right time things. To cut a long, interesting story short, following the formalization of the port policies, the Gujarat government chose us as their partner to build out a full-fledged commercial port in Mundra. And friend, the rest is a history. Mundra, Banu Amari Karma Bhumi.
today i can confidently say that the real growth of mundra is just starting it now holds the potential to become one of the world's top integrated industrial park in a years to come my young friends tenacity and opportunities are two wheels that cycle together and it is the tenacity that give us the, that confidence to step into unknown waters and in these waters often exist the largest of opportunities the more you complete these cycles the more your confidence and ability to make a bigger batch and the bigger the batch you successfully execute the stronger is your confidence and ability to make even bigger batches it is our adoption of these principles that has led to the outcome of the adani group being able to continue its journey of hyper growth and today we are the world largest solar power company we will be the world largest renewable company by 2030 we are the largest airport operator in india with a 25% of passengers traffic and a 40% of air cargo we are the largest ports and logistics company in india with a 30% of our national market share we are largest integrated energy player we span electricity generation transmission and distribution lng and lpg terminals city gas and a pipe gas distributions we are the country's second largest cement manufacturers we are the highest valued fmcg company following the ipo of adani wilmar we have declared our path forward in a new sectors that include data centers super apps industrial clouds aerospace and defense metals and petrochemicals our market cap is at over 225 billion dollars and has grown faster than any company ever in india my young friends india will be the land of a massive opportunity over the next 30 years 40 years 50 years a democracy whose time has come cannot be stopped and india's time has arrived this is your new india and this is your time our country is and will increasingly be a land full of incredible opportunities the adani group is just one manifestation of india's entrepreneurship success story i started this journey when i was just 16 i learned that while the shortest distance between two points is a straight line it is rare that any entrepreneurship journey is able to follow this straight line entrepreneurship is about sometimes getting lost sometimes falling but every time i was lost every time i fell i was still able to find my way back i was still able to get up it is this desire to be back on your feet that defines an entrepreneur and it defined me i firmly believe that india holds the potential to build 100 adani groups and there could be no better place than india to be an entrepreneur today what we do in the short term will look like a marathon what we achieve in the long run will look like a sprint therefore in closing i would like to leave you with some of my thoughts that i hope you keep in mind you will be in your prime when india is in it in his own prime and india will be in its prime because you will be in your prime this is the time for you to dream big you are india's future and no future is made by incremental thinking you must never be in a situation where you are disappointed by the things that you did not dare to do spread your wings and be like the kites of this utran remember kite always rise not with the wind but against it fly explore dream discover be grateful for success will come at a price the greatest success is never in not falling but is in your ability to rise after every fall this strength will be the signature of your resilience and finally learn to develop empathy empathy binds humanity empathy gives hope to humanity empathy gives purpose to humanity the great gift of being human 
is that we have the power of empathy. I hope my journey inspire you to want to be 100 times of what I have been fortunate to be able to achieve. If I, as the son of this very land, could have learned to fly high, you can fly much higher. All the best and Jai Hind.